Well, hello everybody. It's Miss Marcy here, and I wanted to come on here real quick and just do I'm not even gonna call it a review, but it's just pretty much my uh my opinion and I just want to elaborate on Miss Kelly Rowland's new single called Dirty Laundry. Alright, so this single is actually off of her new up and coming album called Talk A Good Gang. And in this single, it's just what it says, it's Dirty Laundry. She's pretty much, Kelly is pretty much basically, uh, she's talking about how she was once jealous of Beyonce and how she was once in, in, a, in a relationship with a guy who was physically abusive to her and verbally abusive to her as well. And I just heard the song today. And when I heard it, I mean, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that somebody actually treated Kelly Rowland like that because of the fact it seems like, and I know I don't know Kelly Rowland personally, but she just really seems like a genuine good girl. Like she's just a sweetheart. Like. I don't know it just really really like baffled me that someone would actually lay a hand on her and even and, and talk to her the way that she she alleged that this person talked to her now I'm not going to make any speculations or any assumptions about who the person is um, I'm not going to say it was Roy Williams which is her ex I've even heard some people speculating and saying that it was Matthew Knowles I don't even I don't even think it was Matthew Knowles I don't know who it was but I don't think it was Matthew Knowles and so I, I don't know, but I just want to say that I can tell that Kelly Rowland has really, really come into her own as a woman, just as an artist. She is no longer lying in the shadows of Beyonce, no diss, but we all know it is what it is. She's no longer lying in the shadows of Beyonce. And then she really talked about that in, in the song. You know, she talked about how when... Beyonce's album when they you know when they both went they solo went into their solo careers how her album didn't do really well and how Beyonce's did really well and how although she was genuinely happy and I'm not saying this verbatim but I'm just saying the gist of what she was saying in the song she was basically saying that although she was genuinely happy for her sister for her friend she was still feeling some kind of way because her her stuff wasn't going right and and that's natural you know and and, and when when Destiny Child first went their separate ways and Beyonce came out with her Dangerously in Love back in 2003. I often wondered were Kelly and Michelle ever jealous because this is just like a natural feeling sometimes. I'm not, I'm not saying they should be jealous or they should have been jealous, but it's just a natural thing to wonder, you know, especially because at the time Beyonce was doing, I mean, she still is doing very, very well. I mean, her, her career just soared. It just soared, soared through the roof. And Kelly's and Michelle's didn't do like that. And then, not only that, but at the time, Kelly was engaged to Roy Williams. And then they ended up not working out. And then you see Beyonce, her and Jay-Z, they just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And, and here they are to this day, still going strong. And by the way, I just heard uh, Beyonce confirm that she is, she is, in fact, pregnant with her and Jay-Z's second child. So congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Carter. But anyway, so, um, getting back on Kelly. So yeah, this is really a breakthrough album for Kelly, a breakthrough song for Kelly. Her album is gonna be highly anticipated. I can't wait, actually. I really wanna say that Kelly Rowland, and she's doing her thing, she's looking good. She's, I mean, she is so sexy to me. I really think she is so sexy because Kelly doesn't give you too much sexy and she doesn't give you she doesn't not give you sexy but she doesn't give you too much she's just right she is just she's been looking fabulous you go girl i'm so happy for kelly i bet you this was like therapy for her for her to just just re release all that and it just shows it just goes to show you too that you just never know what a person is really going through i would have never really thought that she she was going through that back then i would have never thought that but you, you can tell she's in a better place now she's happier and that's really a good thing and that's really all that matters Will she ever reveal who the person is? I don't know. But, hey, that's up to her. But I just want to say that I really do think that this album is going to be really good for her. And she's really just, she's getting better and better. She's like, why? She's just getting better and better over time. So I'm really happy for Kelly Rowland. And what else did I want to say about it? Um, There was something else I wanted to add. Um, 
that might have been it hold on let me see it was something else I had to say oh the song itself it's it's not really so much of I really wouldn't consider it a song that I would hear on the radio or that you would they will play on the radio I don't know what category this song will fall into but it's it's more like she's narrating a story. I do think they should put a video out for it, but it's more like she's narrating a story. It's almost kind of like how R. Kelly did with Trapped in the Closet. So I don't know if I see this song being like on, you know, uh, um, the, the radio or I, I don't know. But whatever the case, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, if y'all have something y'all want to say, put it below, leave a comment whatever that's cool follow me on instagram miss marcy 23 well no instagram is miss marcy 79 um twitter is miss marcy 23 so follow me on instagram follow me on twitter also check out my blog called the social and until next time y'all this has been marcy thanks for watching peace